Hey everyone, Zara here. So in this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Instead of gaming related, I want to try something new for the gadgets instead. So this is my Roborock Q Revo. Just arrived and I have ordered it through Amazon for about 800 euros. So I want to do a little bit of an unboxing for the Roborock Q Revo. So here's the box itself. I ordered it a black version since it suits my aesthetic more, but you can also get it in a white version as well. Well, here's the summary of the most important features. We'll be going through all these later, and the summary features displaying again on the other side of the box. This side of the box graphically displays the main features of the unit, and I'll be going through all of these features that this product contains. Contents listed on this side includes the unit itself, the dock, the base, two dust bags, power cable, mops, and a manual. This sheet of cardboard is quick start guide, which we could see exactly how this box will unbox all of the various of the components inside. First up is the safety guidelines and the certification booklet. Here's the bottom tray, two mop heads, Here's a spare dust bag, the other is already by the way inside of the main dock, Q Revo unit itself and a power cord. And last but not least, the main dock base. Let's get to the base unpack first. The design seems simple and yet quite big. I will get into the details in a bit, but first let's attach the tray onto the bottom of the base by simply snapping it onto the place. Now the power plug is installed in the rear of the unit, pushed in, and then there is a loom for clean cable management. Once it's wrapped around nicely, it could be dressed out either on the left side, or perhaps if you want it, on the right side of the unit, as of course as you desire. So now we'll have a look at the Q Revo itself. The top has two buttons, power and home, and at the top has a matte finish, beautiful design with a great choice for a finish for less dust magnet. Now if you want this to have even less dust, then perhaps some white version would have been a better choice. Looking at the front of the unit, there are sensors behind this glass cover. LiDAR is on the top, and that mount is actually also a push button sensor. We see some ventilation along the side, along to the rear we'll see the charging posts and sensors covered by the glass in the back, as well as its fill port. Circling our way back to the front, we see this slot for more sensors here. And the entire front of the unit is actually a bumper sensor that we can push. We'll lift the top cover now and have a look inside. And here we have an air filter assembly, which we can remove from the unit. On the back of the air filter assembly is the air filter itself. There's also a sticker that tells you how to maintain both of the filter and the assembly. The filter pops right out for easy access and washing. And we can see under the flap the brush from the underside as well as the button and a QR code to indicator for the wireless connectivity to establish connection with the robot through the app. Turning the Q Revo upside down, here we can see a few more interesting things. We squeeze these two tabs to remove the cover of the roller. Now with the cover removed, the roller could be lifted right out. It is, as you can see, a single roller, since the S8 model, there's actually two rollers included. By the way, this Hoover has 5,500 pascals for the suction, so it is, it is relatively powerful, but it's not recommended to use for very heavy duty. Often there is an accumulative hair at the end of the rollers, and it's easily remedied since you can easily open and release the ends, where the hair can be easily removed. The same process on the other side can be done as well. We see the standard 360 swivel wheel here, as well as the standard corner brush. Here's the area where the mop head insert. Just below there are sprayers for the mops, and we can see that they fall into the keyed slots. It's locked in because of the magnets, so it holds securely in place. By the way, the pads can actually be removed from the holders due to the velcro, so they can come off right off. They could go into the wash and be cleaned, and then when they're cleaned, they can be placed right back on. Multiple sensors can also be found alongside of the under the unit, specifically so the robot knows if there are stairs and will not fall off any of the high areas. The main wheels of this unit are spring mountain rubber tires, so they have a very good traction. 
Now Q-Revo can run for 180 minutes, which is more than enough. But yet also the robot knows when the battery is running out. It can return to its own dock to charge and continue where it left off after when the charging is complete. All without you doing absolutely anything, which is incredible. Now we're going to the main unit base. This design with a dust bag on the bottom and the two containers are on top. Now let's take a look. Opening up the cover, there is a little sticker on the top left corner that shows you how to remove and insert a bag. Pulling this tab closes the bag while providing a handle to remove the bag overall. The bag is around 2.7 liters that can contain the dust and dirt inside. And of course we can place back as well when needed. Now let's go on top and we'll pull out the first container from the top now. The 5 liter clean water container is on the right side. Lifting this tab allows the container to be opened. Sensors included allow the base station to know when it's empty or when it's full. These containers open up greater than 90 degrees, which is an easier access for the water to enter. Now we'll remove the 4.2 liter dirty water tank and have a look. This tank is the exact same form as the other tank, except when you look inside. We can see that there is a float for a cutoff that lets us know when a tank is full and a couple of other minor changes. Now overall, these are all of the features that it contains in here for the unboxing part. I will have a separate video checking out this robot in action and all the capabilities that it has. I will also have a full review as well, but I need of course a few weeks so that I can test it out completely and see the results as well. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe, see you guys all later and have a wonderful day.